Here we are back again. I just made a whole 11 minute video that apparently I can't download. So yeah, I'm just slightly pissed about that. So, since uh, that won't download, this one's probably not going to download either, but we're gonna give it a shot. And by the way, that's my Michelob Ultra review. I guess nobody's ever going to see because it won't download. Great. So, spoiler alert, since you're probably not going to see that video anyway, because it's a, I don't know what, what is even going on with this thing, but it's, I go to want to put the disc or the title in, Michelob Ultra Review. It's just, it just freezes. It literally just freezes, so... Since apparently nobody's gonna watch, be able to watch that video, it's complete shit. Michelob Ultra is absolute fucking trash. That is it. I'm swearing because I just had to drink a crappy beer and do a review that didn't even download. So I'm a little pissed off right now. I don't know if it download, upload, whatever it is, it wouldn't do it. So I'm going to try this one, and this one's probably not going to download either, so whatever. I'm so fucking irritated right now, dude. It's, I'm like, I'm not, you know, wait, you get ready, you drink that absolutely disgusting slop for the content, for entertaining, for, for help entertaining people and you know, giving something to maybe people get a good chuckle out of it. And you do all this, and then a stupid video doesn't even download or upload or whatever, whatever, whichever one it is. It doesn't do it. So, I apologize to everybody who wanted to see the Michelob Ultra review. Why is it? This should be bright. There we go. This feels like it's brighter. I don't know. But we're going to do another review now to hopefully make up for that one because I'm really in a mood sitting there pressing the stupid thing and then it's not doing anything. That is irritating, I gotta say. My face doesn't feel as bright though. I don't know. I hope my face looks nice or looks well and it seems like there's a lot of shadows here which I can't really do anything about. But today, to no, don't look at that yet. Since this is Friday and I'm trying to only like eat really bad food and drink beer on on Fridays from now on, so we're gonna try to hopefully this one downloads. I gotta pause this for a minute because I'm gonna see if I can fix this shit. All right, I think this is a lot better. Hopefully you guys do too. Hopefully eventually the Michelob Ultra review uploads or downloads or whatever you call it. I don't know. I honestly don't know the difference because I'm not 22 freaking years old anymore. But whatever. But we're going to do another review. And this one is actually... I think might end up tasting okay because I've had the non-light version of this and it was actually went down fairly smoothly I have to admit it I'm gonna put my glasses on I feel like I look a little classier with the glasses on so uh, I don't know I don't I gotta read the this is Bush Light. This is, of course, from Anheuser-Busch out of St. Louis, Missouri. Anheuser-Busch is owned, of course, by the giant InBev Corporation, for those who don't know. And InBev owns a lot of breweries. They are very large. 
but this is Bush Light, as you can see here. I usually don't like to drink beer after 10 p.m. And this one, in the video that apparently no one will ever see, the Michelob Ultra, that was a 4.2% alcohol by volume uh, beer. And this one is actually 4.1%. So this is actually even lower than the uh, Michelob Ultra. And I, I thought Michelob Ultra was actually around 2 or 3%, so I was a little... A little surprised that I that it was as high as 4.2 but it could be 4.2 or 8.7 or 6.4 whatever it's probably still gonna be complete disgusting trash like it's absolutely the most boring beer like if Michelob Ultra was a person and you went on a date with them there you can guarantee that there would be absolutely no second date in fact you would leave after probably the first five minutes that is how boring Michelob Ultra oh, my glasses that is how boring Michelob Ultra is what you would do if Michelob Ultra is a, was a person and you had a date with them, because you'd be talking to them online and they'd seem like they were kind of charming and because things are a little easier online, then you meet them in person and they're so boring. You would do you would what you would do is you would text your friend and you'd be like, this person is so boring say like that your grandmother just keeled over or some shit so then you then they text you their grandmother killed over and you show the person i'm like oh my god i can't i gotta go my grandmother this my best friend's grandmother just killed over but they didn't kill over but that's how you would get that's a way to get out of a boring date so if you ever date somebody that says boring as Michelob Ultra that is how you get out of it or you can go in the bathroom and try to sneak out the window but that's a little risky so I would do do my my best friend's grandmother just keeled over my best friend got into a car accident to do something like that to get out of a date Yes, I do have experience with this. I don't want to talk about it right now, though. Anyway, back to the review. This is Bush Light. And it's hopefully not as boring as Michelob Ultra. And I feel kind of weird drinking this late at night because this is getting close to my bedtime. But I'm doing it for the fans, even though my last video wouldn't upload for some reason. So... Anyways, here we are with this, uh, this video has been going for quite a while and I haven't even started the review yet. So, anyways, we're gonna, what the, what, it's comp, Jesus God, this is completely clear, what, I poured it. And it was completely see like see through. Uh, <coughs> oh, I guess I should have paused it. But Ms. Michelob Ultra, this stuff is so clear. I could I was watching the World Series game through the glass. That is how clear. And look at this. What is this gar? Oh my God. Look at this. You can like. Look, I'm gonna look at, yeah, see, I can see this guy's, who's betting? I don't know, but this, look at this. You can see, you, look at this. You can see my face. Okay, you, 
shouldn't be able to see somebody's face through a glass of beer. Like, just no. I don't have a good feeling about this one. What is it? Five? It's still five to five. All right. Well, anyways, this is not a, how how clear the and how clear this is is an absolutely terrible sign. But regular Bush isn't half bad for a cheap beer. In fact, uh, a gentleman named Eric Skull, S-C-U-L, he was, I was talking about PBR, and he said, well, he likes Bush better. He doesn't care for PBR. You know, we, we talk like once or twice a year, usually about shamrock shakes, but he's a pretty cool guy. But we just don't talk a lot because he's got he's got a lot, a lot going on. So, but we talk about once or twice a year, and this time it happened to be about PBR versus Bush beer, and he said Bush beer is pretty good. I'm like, no way, PBR. So I actually tried it, and I, I actually thought I think that Bush beer is the regular model is okay, but I'm loyal to PBR so I'm not gonna go and go to Bush beer even though for a budget beer it's acceptable it's decent but this I don't even know what this is oh god I've got a really bad feeling about this but for the fans for Devin for Savage for all my Canadian friends for Tiffany and Kurt, for Sandy, for Tony, for I don't even know who else. This is for you, for all of you subscribers, because I don't think this is going to be great. Unpleasant odor. Very unpleasant odor. Wow. This is not one that I would recommend. Not in the park, nor in the dark, nor on a lark would I recommend this beer. This is just terrible. Well, absolutely not. I know it took me a while to get...